Ladies, gentlemen, meatbags alike, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Uh, let's see. What did I do last time? Stuff? Probably just stuff. Uh, potatoes? Not grown yet. Pet the dog. Water the bowl. Uh, it's Sunday, so, uh, yeah. Going to be, uh, going around Sashimi Sunday. Uh, I suppose since I have time before, uh, people, uh, like, open up their homes and whatnot. Let's uh, run in here for a bit. Oh boy. I have not checked this in a bit, have I? Good bit of fruit. And people messaging me. Alright, well, we got our cherries. Robin hammering away, building the barn. Uh, so, how's everyone doing? Hopefully well. Uh, let's see, Clint, Lewis, George, Gus, Marnie. So, Marnie, Jess, uh, Pierre, Pam, Vincent, Jody, Elliot, Leah, Abigail, Sam, Shane. Uh, I still have to whole, worry about the whole uh, Marnie house. Right. Eh. Uh, by the time I run up there, it'll probably be nine already. So uh, let's just run around down here for a bit. Nine o'clock, okay. Oh, cutscene. Hi, Shane. You look unusually happy today. You're right. I haven't felt at this light since I was a kid. That's good. Let me guess. Gus had a uh, clearance cell on uh, canned beer? Oh, no. Good one. <laughs> no. No, I've actually been drinking sparkling water instead of beer, and I feel great. That's good, Shane. You know, sometimes I forget that I really have, I really do have friends. People that care about me. And it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. You're right. It doesn't make you weak. It's well. It doesn't make you weak to rely on people, but accepting your weakness is what helps you actually step forward on becoming better. So, that's my thought. He looks sharp. Hi Jess, I got something for you. These are uh, <laughs> well, I almost went with the wrong voice. These are real bunny jewel slippers. Then again, do I usually do a voice? Looking back at year one and how I was already giving voices. But 
These are so expensive. How did you afford them? Jess already being wise enough to know about monetary worth. I cut back on an expensive habit. I have a lot more spending money now. That's nice. Here you go, Marnie. Sashimi Sunday. Sashimi Sunday. Hopefully, the game is not lagging too much for you all in the video. I'm just having a lag on my end, apparently. All right, Leela's uh, door's locked. Cutscenes! Hi, Uni. I'm just making some popcorn. Careful with the heat. Oh! Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh, I, I think I know what this is. PTSD. Stop the popcorn! That sound. You should have known that sound would remind me of the war. Ah, poor Kent. A salute to all our veterans out there, regardless of your country or region. You do what you believe it is absolutely right for your homeland. I lost a lot of good friends in those bloody trenches. But dear, popcorn was always your favorite before you left. Things change. Things have changed. War does that to people. <sighs> that it does. Uni, can you say something to him? I can try. Uh, I know you're hurting, but don't blame your like. I know from what I can perceive here, from my limited perception. Jody is just trying to do the right thing by giving Kent, you know, a nice treat that he actually enjoyed before going off to the war. So, you know, don't hate your wife because, you know, she was just thinking about you. The, uh, just, like, she's not trying to be insensitive. She's not directly trying to attack you from what I can tell. So, don't blame her. Don't blame anybody. Just blame the reason for war. Let's let her go sit down and enjoy ourselves a nice big bowl of popcorn. You're absolutely right, Uni. I'm sorry, honey. You couldn't have known the sound the popcorn would make me upset. It's okay, dear. The last thing I want to do is make you upset. I do my best to keep your spirits up from now on. See, my perception was right. Jody is a good wife. She doesn't want to actually hurt Kent whatsoever. She just didn't exactly realize that the sound of popcorn would have just been, you know, Similar to the sounds of gunfire. <sighs> We're already getting heavy on some things, aren't we? 
There you go, Vincent. Sashimi Sunday. And tea for you, Kent. Sam! Sashimi Sunday. Another cutscene! Oh boy! Okay, <laughs> okay, guys, do you remember your lines? Yes! Ready? Action! I thought we had something special. I guess I was wrong. I... I, um... Cut! I'm so sorry. Or, I'm sorry. It's hard to remember my lines when I face her right in the... Uh, when her face is right in front of me like that. Well, knowing you, Clint, uh, you have a thing for Ellie. So, or Emily. So, uh, I don't fault you for, uh, getting a little tongue-tied. A little, uh, caught up in your words when your head is rushing with the feelings that you have. Oh, hey! Check out my new camera. Jojo Co is having a video of advertising of the competition. The prize is 10,000 gold. Yeah, and how much more money will they actually make off of your video there, Shane? You better get, you know, ad revenue. Well, not just ad revenue, royalties for your video. Shoutouts for Concern Ape. You know, if uh, YouTube decides to uh, cut back on my, uh, you know, royalties for making the video, please give a portion of it to Concern Ape. Hey, I want you to be in this shot, okay? Just walk by Clint and Emily in the background while they're talking. It'll give the scene a little bit more authenticity. If I'm saying the word right. But yeah. Just walk in the background. No biggie. Okay. Ready? Action. I thought we had something special. You said you wouldn't leave me for anything. I guess that was a lie. No, it's not like that. This is just something I have to do. It's very important to me. I just got to try new Jojo Blue Cola. <laughs> uh, Clint, you better be paid for this. It's got three times the sober oil for a thick, sweet blast. And it's cheaper than water. But, but isn't soda unhealthy? You promised me. Have no fear, my dear. The world class science team at Jojo headquarters have de <laughs> determined that the Jojo Blue does not cause a significant erosion to the of the stomach <laughs> to the stomach lining. I feel like that's a big ass lie. So you can drink it whenever you like, as much as you like. I don't advise that. The real question is, when will you turn blue? Glug, glug, ah. Uh. Cut. That was perfect. Thanks for the help. Eh, uh, you're welcome. I'm not exactly a fan of the JoJo company and story-wise, but like I get it, I get it. Big corporation trying to uh, optimize things, 
but at the same time, how much of the optimization is really just taking away, like, good old naturalness, community, people actually doing good for each other, like, saying hello to your neighbor, instead of just walking past him and buying something from the grocery store. Clint? Yep, he turned blue, all right. <laughs> oh boy, all right. There you go, Haley. Oh wait, you're already maxed out. And T for Emily. Parrot. I think I already maxed out Penny. I'm already forgetting. Uh, yes. Lewis, happy birthday. And you're maxed. I, I, I'm almost forgetting. Alex, uh, you're already maxed. Evelyn. Uh, George should be at the, uh, market, Piers. Speaking of which, Pierre, Sashimi Sunday. George, Sashimi Sunday. Ah, getting that itch on the side of your nose is kind of annoying. Abigail, Sashimi Sunday. Caroline, Sashimi Sunday. Oh, she's already maxed out as well. And, uh, okay. I think the potatoes will be ready tomorrow, so what I'm gonna do. It should be a hundred and forty four. There we go. Why am I going around, looping around in circles? Elliot? Nope. Ah, oh, there you are. Sashimi Sunday, you are maxed out. Willie, Sashimi Sunday. There you go, Clint. Sashimi Sunday.
Let's go find Dwarf. Sashimi Sunday. Check the quarry, get our jades. Put the jades away. All right, uh, let's pop over to the bus stop for a bit. Sashimi Sunday. All right, back to town. All right, I already got Robin, Dimitri. Let's see, there'll be Gus. And Leah, Krobus, and Sandy. Krobus! Grab the bait. Grab all this. Let's see, trash, 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 okay. Did I re- I almost forget about Harvey, don't I? Oh yeah, 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 he's already maxed out. Okay, never mind then. Uh, Leah and Gus, I believe. Who, like Leah, Gus, and Sam. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, see if Leela is around. Cutscenes! Hey, I'm Mr. Uni. Hello, Vincent. Sp spring onion. Mom sends me out to pick these sometimes. They're too spicy for me. Eh, that's fine. Like, Everybody gets their own particular taste. You don't need to be, uh, you know, you don't have to love spicy or bitter things to be a mature person. You can still enjoy sweet things as you're an adult. You're really nice for a grown-up, so I'm going to show you a secret. When you see it like this, it looks good, right? But if you peel, um, if you peel it a little bit, it's full of bugs. Cool, huh? Yeah, it's good to know what you're actually uh, forging around for, not having to worry about uh, pests and insects actually being within your food. 
Um, what do you do with the bugs, Vincent? Usually, I just squish him. Uh, that's a very child thing to do. But eventually, you'll probably need to learn how to grow empathy. That's horrible. No, 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 no. Yeah, e eventually you should grow some, some empathy. Just brush the insects off. Please, Mr. Uni. Uh, Mr. Uni, please put the bugs back in the grass so they can live in peace. Yeah, sure. You learned how to clean the spring onion without harming the bugs. Spring onions are now worth five times the gold. Leela's not in. Goody. Uh, I did see the spring onion in the cutscene, so let's uh, not spring onion, horseradish. Into the cutscene. Or, yeah, from the cutscene. But, anywho. Yoink that. Let's run over to the tavern. Here you go, Gus. Sashimi Sunday. You're almost done with your friendship. All right, there's Shane. Just running around seeing if I can find Leela anywhere. Oh yeah, traitor. Uh nothing. Damn. Leah there you go. Yep. Sashimi Sunday. Slime. Mushrooms. Oh goody, well at least I can at least just reclaim the uh, sap, or you know, get a little quick money. Get back inside, put all this fruit away. 
the moral in there. Uh, let's see. Make all the sashimi. Yeah, uh, horseradish, mushroom, seeds in there. Speed grow to sell. Extra bait there. I have a feeling that the potatoes will be done tomorrow, so I do have all the seeds ready. Uh, Well, I still got a little bit more time before uh, having to move on to the next day. I should have grabbed the uh, flooring. So we get that, this, uh, I suppose some uh, gravel path. Uh, let's also just grab, uh, get about. Yeah, okay. Put this here. Uh, right, right, it's getting late. I guess I'll just move on over the next day. But I'll just have to remember those are there. So I can continue, uh, can, uh, continue decorating after I pass around sashimi and tea. First day of the video and it's already, you know, past 30 minutes. Oh boy. I 
have more saving. And more saving. And we have saved. <laughs> Nothing on the telly. Strange bun, thank you, Shane. Very nice. Public reading in the afternoon. Okay, that's going to be another cutscene. Oh, more mail. Thank you, Clint, for uh, copper. All right, that is uh, quite a lot of potatoes. Uh, let's see, 176 looking at all together. The barn is done. Yes, Sashimi Monday doesn't have the same ring to it. Marty and Shane are not in their home. Unless, unless, nope, it's locked. Okay, never mind then. And that's locked. Vincent, 
Have some sashimi. Jody sashimi. Sam sashimi. And uh, Ken's not here, which... Huh. Odd, I didn't see him. Cutscenes! Come in, Uni. I want to show you something. It's my secret hobby I've been practicing for months. Now sit back, relax, and allow yourself to be carried away to a better place, okay? i rather not go to somebody's idea of paradise, because I could just make one here. Just watching the bird. Uh, this is kind of hurting my eyes a little bit. Like, I don't have epileptic problems usually, but maybe I'm also just kind of getting to the point of, of me wanting to go to sleep, so... Ah. Well, hopefully if you're just listening to this, just keep on listening. Oh, wait, the, uh, the dance is over. So, yes, what do you think? Uh, well, I'm no dancer myself, so, uh, I'll give her a compliment, because, you know, better than me. <laughs> Thank you. It also makes you feel better. Whew, that was quite a workout. Hey, don't stop. Keep on improving. I haven't been this sweaty since I uh, ordered the pepper hair platter at Abigail's graduation fiesta. Alright, so we know Abigail has graduated. Well, I better take a shower. Thanks for watching. Yep. Haley is uh, in the kitchen, okay. I got you! With sashimi. Oh, right, you're, you're maxed out. Emily, there you go. Have some tea. Kent, I saw you walk into your house. I'm going to get you. Get over here. Get over here. Kent! Enjoy your tea. Let's go say hi to Krobus. There you go. Uh, this is definitely over the uh, usual time of uh, me putting away the video, but, uh, well, too many cutscenes does that, but hey, 
Hopefully you're all appreciating the extended time of a video. Hopefully. Willie, there you go, buddy. Evelyn? Tea for you. Sashimi for you, George. Let's see. Have I? Yeah, okay. You're already. Yeah. Okay. No sashimi for you, Alex. You're already small as it is. Caroline? Oh yeah, you're your max head as well. Ah uh, Vincent's birthday in two days. Uh da, 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 ba, da, ba, da. Clint, Gus, Marnie. Abigail, you're uh, seven out of eight. Okay. There you go. Run over here, Clint. Now you're maxed out. Very nice. Leah, enjoy your sashimi. Pierre, I got your stuff, man. Let's see, we got Gus, Marnie. Marnie's probably back at her home at this point. Oh, Marnie's in the kitchen. There you go, Marnie. Nine out of ten. All right. Who am I missing now? Let's see. Gus. Pam. Dwarf. Gus, Pam, and Dwarf. Here you go, Pam. Let's go, go uh, back in our way over to Dwarf here. There you go, buddy. Let's get to Gus now. A 
spoon. All right, Gus. Sashimi. Dandelion. All that sashimi. All right, let's get back to decorating the uh, uh, the livestock area. Yeah. All right, so we got uh, one simple pathway here. We'll do uh, about, yeah, this is fine. Actually, uh, Let's do it uh, this way instead, right here. Clear this out. Or maybe... No, I'm not feeling that. Okay, so it was five here, so uh... Let's see here. One, two, three, four... Five, I guess? That uh, could be five, six. Good. Then we'll do this. We're going to fill all this center area with some gravel. Yeah, if yeah. Just trying to find, uh, here we go, there's you.
put the spring seeds there. Put the bay there. Oh yeah, I should have also put these here. And uh, since I said I was going to uh, do uh, things with gravel, let's uh, get a bunch. A little too much, uh, but whatever. And the next episode, we'll uh, have Vincent's birthday on second day, so uh, yeah. Once it's all saved and wrapped up, we can end the episode. All them taters. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, wrapping up. So yeah, thank you for joining. And if you uh, enjoyed the video, you are free to like, comment, and subscribe. Even if you don't, I still wish you all a nice day. And until next time, take care.